taking a, a species off the endangered species list or even the, th the threatened list is, is always a big challenge. A lot of that always comes down to habitat. The, the habitat you see behind me is the only place where Lang's metal mark butterfly is found in the wild. The service created the Antioch Dunes National Wildlife Refuge because the uh, research from uh, academic professors and, and, and other interested parties discovered that this is a very unique habitat and there was a very unique butterfly occupying this habitat along with two other with uh, the the host plant for the the butterfly the naked stem buckwheat and there was also the contra costa wallflower and antioch dunes uh, evening primrose was a, an, another endangered species found only in this remnant dune environment the only place on the planet where they're found Antioch Dunes National Wildlife Refuge is divided up into two units. So within the Sardis unit, we're standing in what we call the pit, an area that was excavated of all of its sand. Dunes reached up to about 100 feet high um, right along the river's edge. The sand was an especially pure material, and it could be used to make bricks. After 1906, the great earthquake of the Bay Area, the San Francisco earthquake, bricks were needed to rebuild the city. The sand was so important that they had rail spurs coming off of the rail line in here just to load up the sand and load up the bricks and haul it away to be used elsewhere. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service started a restoration project uh, many years ago. On a grander scale now, we've working with the Army Corps of Engineers in the Port of Stockton. Our, our goal is to put STAM unit, the entire 41 acre STAM unit, under 36 inches of sand. We're saving the butterfly by, by uh, weed control. We have a captive propagation program at Moore Park College. The butterfly is, is still in a, in a cr critical stitch situation. You provide the proper habitat, you're probably going to get the creatures back.